All right, good morning class. Today we are going over some grammatical rules. Uh, these are all about phrases, and some of this should have been homework. I assigned this to you. I want to go over the answers with you. You should also have these answers on the LMS. Um, so for the first part of the homework, we will be going over prepositional phrases. Uh, the first exercise was simply asking uh, whether or not it was a phrase. These are your answers here. Number one, yes, it was a phrase. Number two, it was a phrase. Number three, it was a phrase. Number four, it was a phrase. Number five was not a phrase. Number six was a phrase. Number seven was not a phrase. Number eight was a phrase. Nine was a phrase. And ten was a phrase. Um, so now I'm going to page 50 from the exercises. Sentence read. The bus drove by a large red barn. These are prepositional phrases. So you see here the preposition by. Every all of the words that modify the word by are part of the prepositional phrase. The, the bus drove by a large red barn. Uh, second sentence: An enormous picture was painted on one wall. On one wall is the prepositional phrase here. See the underlined answers. Uh, the next question: The picture reached above the second story. Above is the second story. This is the preposition. Above is a preposition. It tells you where it was. Number four, in a white shirt is the prepositional phrase. Number five, the picture was painted by a local artist. By is a preposition. By a local artist. Uh, for exercise B, we had to identify first the preposition and then the preposition that was then the word that was being modified or modifying the preposition. So for instance, number six. Spike Lee was born in Georgia. Where was Spike Lee born? In Georgia. Number seven, he studied at a New York university. You, uh, you would not say he studied at New York. You'd say he studied at a university. In New York, this word here, New York, is modifying university, telling you where the university is. But at is modifying the university. University is the object of at. Next sentence, the video store near my house carries his films. And here is a preposition. Near what? Near my house. House is what is near. Next sentence, Lee appears in some films. In is the preposition. Films is what he appears in. Some is only modifying the word films. You could say in a few films, in several films, but all of these are still talking about films. Films is the subject. The next sentence, his father wrote the music for this movie. For is, again, the preposition. This movie is going to be the subject. What did his father write the music for? He wrote it for this movie. The next sentence, Lee made a film about Malcolm X. About is the preposition. What was the film about? Malcolm X. Number 12, the director wore a hat with, with a large X. So the director is a subject. He wore a hat. What with? What did the hat have? It had a large X on it. During a recent newscast, I heard Lee speak. During here is the preposition. Double underline is newscast. During what? During a recent newscast. The object of what happened during, or what was during. Next one. He talked about a film he had just finished. What did he talk about? He talked about a film that he had just finished. And the last sentence. The interviewer showed several scenes from the film. From, again, is the preposition. Film is what is the object of the preposition. So this next, these next exercises were to identify the adjective phrases. So the circled phrase here. So if we look at the exercise, exercise A in each of the following sentences, underline the prepositional phrase or phrases and circle the word that each phrase modifies. So both Alaska and Hawaii were once territories of the United States. Here we go, territories and of the United States. Territory is the word that is being modified. Territories are being is being modified. What is it that? Uh, how are they modified of the United States? In the next sentence, the name for the mainland portion of Alaska. So name and portion are both the phrases being modified. The name for the mainland portion of Alaska. Here we have two different prepositions, of and for. So name 
name for the mainland. Uh, and then here we have portion of Alaska, where once Alex Shark. This next one here, we have uh, the number three, the origin of the name for Hawaii is unknown. So again, we have two different prepositions. This whole thing is considered a prepositional phrase. And for number four, these are two of our most beautiful states. Of, again, is the preposition. Two is what is being modified. How, what are they? They are two of our most beautiful states. And number five, many people from all over enjoy these magical places. People here is going to be the word being modified. Where, what kind of people? People from all over. They enjoy these magical places. Uh, for exercise B, you can sort of put in your own sentences or your own phrases uh, as you like. But the examples that we have here are, in the early inhabitants of the caves drew hunting scenes on the walls. No one in the audience spoke during the performance. Just make these up as we go. The magician called upon two people from the audience what it's going to say here, from the crowd. Uh, number nine, a single fingerprint blank turned out to be a critical clue. A single fingerprint found at the scene turned out to be a critical clue. Or a, a single fingerprint on the gloves turned out to be a critical clue. clue. Uh, number 10, Erica lent me two magazines for me to read over the weekend. So this next exercise was to identify adverb prepositional phrases. Just a reminder, an adverb prepositional phrase is a phrase that modifies a verb, an adjective, or an adverb. Uh, you can check the phrases PowerPoint for more information about this. The adverb phrase tells when, where, why, how, or to what extent. The actor, so these are just some examples. Uh, the actor, Sesu, Hayakawa became famous for his film roles. For his film roles, again, it starts with a preposition, modifies the adjective famous and tells how. How was he famous? He was famous for his film roles. So let's go over these answers very quickly. Uh, we're going to start here, adverb phrases, exercise A. Number one, please return your books to the library. Return here is going to be the word that the, that the adverb phrase is modifying. Where are you returning your books? To the library shelves. So it is telling you where to return the book. Harry is helpful in a crisis. Helpful is the word here that is being modified. When is Harry helpful? He is helpful in a crisis. Next question. During the last century, my ancestors came to this country. So we have two different prepositional phrases that are both modifying this word here, came. When, or who, uh, the, the, answer, the, the thing being talked about is ancestors. We're answering a question. When did my ancestors come to this country? They came during the last century. And where did the ancestors come to? They came to this country. So this word came, it's modif uh, during the last century and to this country are both modifying this word came. Number four, Pete found some sesame oil on the top shelf. Pete found, what did he find? He found some sesame oil. Okay, where did he find the sesame oil? He found it on the top shelf. See how these words are answering questions like what, when, why, where, how, and to what extent? So oh, number five, Chinese food is well known for its delicious flavors. So again, you've got a preposition here for well known. What is Chinese food well known? It is well known for its delicious flavors. Number six, mother served dinner at the kitchen table. Sir, mother served dinner. Served here is the word being modified. Where did mother serve dinner? She served it at the kitchen table. Number seven, after the holiday, we put the ornaments away in the attic. Put here is going to be the, the word being modified. When did we put ornaments 
when do we put the ornaments away? We put them away after the holiday. Where did we put the ornaments away? We put them away in the attic. We ate fresh fruit for dessert. So this sentence still works. We ate fresh fruit, okay? When did you eat fresh fruit? We ate fresh fruit for dessert. The next sentence, for the first time I felt confident. Felt here is the word being modified, the verb being modified. And when did you feel confident? You felt confident for the first time. Uh, the next sentence, the kids remained quiet during the movie. So again, remained is the verb here that's being modified. The kids remained quiet. When did they remain quiet? They remained quiet during the movie. The next exercise here, exercise B, add a prepositional phrase to the end of each of the following sentences. Choose a phrase. So again, this is, you can choose your own, but you are trying to answer the question where and the question how. The sleeping dog looked comfortable. Where, you're trying to answer either a question where or a question how. Where did the sleeping dog look comfortable? The sleeping dog looked comfortable in the sunny yard. We fried fish we had caught. You can answer either when or how. We fried fish we had caught in the morning, answers the question when. We fried the fish we caught with some batter, answers the question how, or with some breadcrumbs, answers the question how. Number 12, do you enjoy playing the violin? At night, you can say, would answer the question when, or in the morning, would answer the question when, or do you enjoy playing the violin in front of company, would answer the question where, or around other people, would answer the question where. That desk seems to be broken. Uh, you could say something like, that desk seems to be broken. Uh, the, the leg on that desk seems to be broken. The leg on that desk seems to be broken. Uh, that desk seems to be broken in, uh, on the side or uh, on the top of it. These are all just, again, you can, uh, you can answer these questions in, in any way as long as you're using a preposition. In a bad way would say is an example of how it's broken, or to what extent it's broken. You could also say that leg that desk seems to be broken in a not bad way. Uh, and then the next sentence: Run as fast as you can home to the to the house. You could say would answer where, or I in the morning I run. You run as fast as you can would answer when. That actor is quite famous for his role in Shakespeare, you could say. Or that actor is quite famous because of his marriage to that famous singer, for example. And this last exercise we are going to here uh, identify. Uh, each of the following sentences contains an underlined prepositional phrase. On the line provided, write adverb if the phrase modifies an adver a verb, an adjective, or an adverb. Write adjective if the phrase modifies a noun or a pronoun. Circle the word or words modified by the phrase. This is the last exercise here. Okay, number one. The chameleons are famous for their ability to change the color to change color to match their surroundings. This here, uh, famous is the verb or adjective being modified. What are they famous? They are fam Why are they famous? They are famous for their ability to change color. Next sentence. Uh, however, true. However, true chameleons, which live mainly in Madagascar and Africa, do not change color to camouflage themselves. Live here is the verb, so it is an adverb phrase. And in what way, or uh, where, are, where do these chameleons live? In Madagascar and Africa. The next one, chameleons of Madagascar do not change, do change color in response to light, temperature, and fear of attack. So chameleons are the thing being modified by the prepositional phrase of Madagascar. Chameleons are an animal, so they are a noun. This, therefore, this is an adjective phrase. So the chameleons of Madagascar do not cha do change color in response to light. The next sentence, 
Chameleons change color by collecting or diluting pigmented, pigmented cells called melanophore cells. So here the underlined phrase, by collecting or diluting pigmented cells, what is the word? Change. Chameleons change color. Change here is a verb. If change is a verb, then this is an adverb phrase. And the final question, they are funny looking lizards with as many as three horns on their heads and bulging eyes that move separately from each other. So here we have this preposition with as many as three horns. This is a prepositional phrase. What is it modifying? Lizards. Lizards are is a noun, therefore this is an adjective phrase. And the next exercise I believe is also fill in your own blank. Write a prepositional phrase to expand each of the following sentences. Write a caret to show where the phrase should be inserted in the sentence. Then identify the phrase as an adjective phrase or an adverb phrase. So we can just look at these examples. Uh, for six, did she blow out all of the candles on her cake? This is an adjective phrase. Why is this an adjective phrase? Because it is modifying candles. Candles is a noun, it's a thing. Number seven, be sure to sign your name on the bottom line. This is an adverb phrase. Why? Because we are modifying this verb here, sign. Where will you sign? You will sign on the bottom line. I enjoy cooking fish in the campground. Cooking here is the verb. I enjoy cooking fish. Where do you enjoy cooking fish? In the campground. Number nine, the moviegoers' hearts pounded during the exciting car chase. So here, again, we have this verb, pounded. Pounded means like beating very rapidly. The moviegoers' hearts pounded. When did, it did they pound? During the exciting car chase. And this is an adverb phrase. And finally, number 10, I counted at least 20 guests in tuxedos. So here, the phrase being modified here is 20 guests. Guests are a noun, guests are people. Therefore, in tuxedos is an adjective phrase. It tells you about the guests. That is all for these exercises. And for the next, I, yeah, that's all for